Hello, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make a website for your guest house business. The first thing I want you to do is go onto Wix.com and Wix Website Builder will be the platform that we will be using. And the reason why I recommend Wix is it is beginner friendly, easy to use and you can also get started for completely free. All you'll need is your email address to create an account. Once you have created your account, I want you to tap on create new site. Then from there, you're going to tap on create on Wix editor. After selecting create on Wix editor, you're going to tap on set up without AI. After selecting set up without AI, you'll simply go right here and on the search bar, you can simply type in guest house and select it, then tap on next. From here, you can enter your website name, then tap on next once more. After you have done that, these are some plugins that will be added to your website. So the most important plugin is the Wix Hotels plugin, as this will allow you to set up the rooms that you're advertising and also set up the entire structure of your business. And then the chat plugin will allow you to correspond with visitors of your website. And you can also select any other one of these plugins that you think will relate to your business. So for example, if you would like to display your Instagram feed, you could select Instagram feed. If it is a case that you plan on selling any other products online, you could select online store and you can select any one of these that may apply to what you have in store. Then you're going to tap on next. After selecting next, I want you to tap on go to dashboard as we are going to be setting up our dashboard first. Once our dashboard has been created, I will be showing you how to add the different rooms that you are planning to that you are planning for persons to book and I will also be showing you how to set your fee. So you are going to go over to the left hand menu option and right where you see property set up you are going to hover over that and you are going to tap on room types. So let's select room types real quick. After you have selected room types, you are going to tap on start now. Once you have selected start now, a pop-up window is going to appear and you are going to tap on agree and add. Then from here, you are going to tap on go to dashboard once more. So you are going to tap right where you see property type and I want you to select guest house. Then you are going to tap on save. After you have selected save, you will be redirected to this dashboard. From here, you could tap on complete your business info and you will be able to add your business location and some other necessary information. So for example, you could upload an image of the guest house. You can also add a short description. Then you can scroll down and you could put in the location of the guest house right here. And then you will tap on save and you can also add your contact information, the email address, phone number and fax number right there. Then let's go back over to the left hand menu option and we're going to select room types once more. We're going to tap on create room type then from here, you're going to tap on kind of room and you can scroll down and select whichever one of these options best describe the room that you're advertising. Whether it is a studio room, a penthouse suite, a penthouse, a king room, a junior suite, any one of these options that best describe the room that you want to advertise. Then you'll tap on next. Then you can add a display name. Also, you can add the adult capacity. So let's say two adults. Then from there, you can add the number of rooms. So you can see right there. So the number of rooms, you can add the number of rooms right there. Then tap on next. After you have done that, you can enter your base price. So let's say, for example, it will be $100 per night. Or if you want to price it per adult, you can do that. So $100 per guest. And then from there, you can scroll down and you're going to tap on next once more. And on this dashboard, you'll now be able to add some amenities. 
So first you can select whether it comes equipped with a kitchen. Does it have a breakfast area? Do you also have a view? So let's say for example, it has a street view. You could select street view. If it also has a working room, you can select that and you can see the different type of amenities that is normally there. So you can scroll down. Does it also include bathrobes and so on? You can scroll down and you can see the different type of amenities. You can also add the bed types as you can see right here. You can add everything as you can see here quite easily. Then you're going to tap on next. And from here, you can add an image. So you'll tap on add photo. After you have tapped on add photo, you can select upload media in the top left hand corner. And from there, you could upload an image of the guest house. But for this example, I'll simply use a hotel pick. So I'll just use a random hotel pick real quick. So let's say, for example, this one, tap on add to page. Then you'll tap on complete setup. Then from there, you can scroll down and you can see start selling this room. You're going to tap on the selected date. So let's say as soon as the website goes live. So we'll select from the fifth, which would be today. So we'll select the fifth. Let's do that. Then we're going to select the closing date. So let's say for example, we'll be testing this out for the next four months. Then tap on save. After you have selected save, you're going to tap on save once more in the top right hand corner to save your changes. And you can continue adding more rooms. After you have added the rooms, you're going to go over to the left hand menu option once more. And from here, if you view, if you hover over property management better yet, you'll be able to view your reservations in the future. And you can also go over to the left hand menu option, hover over billing and payments, and you're going to select payments. And from here, I want you to tap on manage payment methods. And with this, you'll be able to offer your clients more payment options. So depending on where you're located, you will see different payment options, but more than likely you are going to see PayPal. So you can connect your PayPal account. And you can also connect Tilopay. If it is a case that you would like to offer more payment options, you can always change the location of your business by simply tapping on change. Once you're finished, you're going to go over to the left hand menu option once more. You're going to scroll up and you're going to tap on set up. After selecting setup, I want you to go over to the top right hand corner and select design site. Then from here, you're going to tap on pick a template. After selecting pick a template, you can see the different themes that they recommend, as you can see right here. And this is one of the standout features when it comes on to Wix website builder. As with these templates, you'll be able to create a professional looking website in no time. So let's say, for example, I would like to use this one. All I would need to do is tap on edit this page you could tap in the box right here and provide the Wix AI with some information that you would like to be added to your website and you could tap on generate site text but you don't have to do that so you can simply close the pop-up then I want you to tap in the top right hand corner where you see plus 50% and this is how our website looks at the moment so you can see it right there and this template does look stunning and you can easily start editing your website by simply hovering over the section that you would like to change then tap on quick edit after selecting quick edit you can change the site background if you want if you would like to change the image you can do that you can also change each text as you can see right there so let's say for example i wanted to change it from welcome to rio to welcome to Jamaica. I could do that real quick right here by simply typing it in, as you can see right there. Then once you're finished, you'll tap on the X in the top right hand corner to close out. And you can scroll down and you can continue editing your website just like that. 
if there's a section that you want to edit you can simply select the section and start editing it and to view all pages on your website you'll go over to the top left hand corner tap on home and from there if we were to for example go onto the book a room page so this is it right there and you can see the beautiful transition a while ago so by scrolling down this will be the page that your visitors will see when they want to book a room remember that i had only added one room so you can see the image right here and you can see the information so they'll be able to tap on the calendar then from there they can search for the date that they would like to book and you can enter the information right here and if you'd like to give them a discount code and so on you can also create that in the dashboard and if we were to tap on add elements in the top left hand corner just in case you want to add a text a button image anything at all you can find it in the add elements section once it is there like in you're going to tap on save in the top right hand corner then you can tap on save and continue and then you will tap on publish for your website to go live keep in mind to accept payments using wix you will need to go onto their paid plan but their paid plan is quite affordable as it starts off at $17 per month and you'll be provided with numerous features so this is a preview of how our website looks as you can see right here and as I was saying earlier once they visit the page they can tap on select the dates that they would like to book the room for as you can see right here let's say for example for four days then from there they can simply tap on search so you can tap on search right there and they'll be able to search it and select a room hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe and thank you for watching